close. Everyone in on our team pretty much played good except for Trey. If he goes for his normal 25 points, we win this game. I know Giannis didn't have a good game either, which surprised me, but Trey and Giannis both did not play well at all. But they both somehow figured, got a way to scrap up 15 points between, or not between the two, but each of them still got 15 somehow. I wanted to go to this first because these rebounds were absolutely pathetic. Lopez was dominating Capella on the board, especially... That possession with about two minutes left, we were down eight, and we were trying to give give the last gas pedal worth of hope, and we ran out of gas because they got like three straight offensive rebounds and ran like a minute and a half off the clock, and that pretty much ended the game right then and there. We would have had a chance if we would have got the first rebound, but we just, that like three of their rebounds were just off of that. We got killed on the rebounds. We got out-rebounded by 13. Pella still had a dominant game, though. But Lopez was just an animal on on the board. And from three. I'll get into the box score. I'll, st box score. I'll start with the Bucks. So, Brooke Lopez, 19 points, 12 rebounds. I believe he also had three three-point shots, I believe. Chris Middleton, 10 points, 7 assists, 9 rebounds. Drew Holiday, 23 points, 7 assists, 4 rebounds. Giannis, 15 points, 2 assists, 5 rebounds. Bryn Forbes, 9 points, 1 assist, 1 rebound. Jeff Teague, 11 points, 5 assists, and 2 rebounds. Pat Connaughton, 14 points, 8 rebounds. Bobby Portis, 11 points, 2 assists, 7 rebounds. P.J. Tucker, 8 points, 1 assist, 3 rebounds. Uh, fan assists with a rebound. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but David Changza did not play today for the Bucks. And let me tell you something about this Bucks team. With what I saw today, I, this team's not going to go anywhere in the playoffs. I mean, I'm going to get some hate for that, especially from some of the Bucks fans I know that follow this channel. But the, this Bucks team's not going to go anywhere. I mean, if Giannis doesn't pretty much play like, like his MVP like caliber skill that I know he has, if he doesn't play like to his max. This team's going nowhere. I know Middleton didn't have a good game either, but with Giannis, he just couldn't do anything right. His uh, jump shots were off. I mean, if he plays like that in the playoffs, they're going to have first or second round exit once again. We'll go into the Hawks box score now. Clint Capella, 16 points, 16 rebounds. Another double-double for the league's leading rebounder, Clint Capella. Kevin Herter with a decent game, 16 points, 4 assists, 6 rebounds. Bogdanovich with another outstanding game, 28 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. Trey Young, who's really the killer, if he goes for his normal 25, we win the game, pretty much. But this was a game that was very winnable. We just couldn't, just couldn't take it, which sucks because it was definitely within winnable range. And now we're still not going to get the respect that we deserve. And Trey's not going to get any respect either. He somehow still got 15 points and 9 assists, even with his, like, 3 of 17 shooting. Solomon Hill had, like, 6 threes. He was unbelievable. 18 points, 1 assist, 5 rebounds. Lou Williams only had 6. Didn't find Lou Will tonight. He did have an assist, though. Nathan Knight, 2 points, 1 rebound. I didn't understand. Nathan Knight kept shooting threes. Nathan Knight... He's not a shooter. He's post up and dunk. He, that's what he does. He's not a three-point shooter. He was being forced into being a three-point shooter tonight, which is not what he is. Brandon Goodwin, one assist, one rebound. Not much at a goodie tonight. Onyeka Okongwu didn't play a lot, but got eight points and grabbed two boards. And then, of course, the endless list of injuries that is the Hawks team. Still had six guys out and competed with one of the top teams in the East, which I think is really impressive. All they had, all they were missing was Divincenzo, and besides that, pretty much the entire Bucks squad was playing today, and it was a winnable game. Just couldn't grab it, and it sucks. But we'll rebound Sunday. Got a two two days off, so that's going to be good for the team. Hopefully, we can get Gallo back Sunday. Maybe Snow as well. Maybe even Collins. We're just going to have to get an update on Collins. We want to know how his ankle is doing, but sucks. 
But it is what it is. It's only one loss. We'll rebound, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Go Hawks.